So now we are going to show how to set up the energy monitor here. Yeah. For use with uh, a current sensor, which is here. A current sensor. And I'm using a big transformer that I picked up for five dollars at the Trash and Treasure. Both are now plugged in. The current, the voltage detector, the transformer is plugged in and is powering the system with a little green LED. And the current sensor is clamped onto this little test bulb I have. And this is a Node MCU. The ADC uh, doing the measurements. The data is going out to ThinkSpeak. I was running a test just before, uh, so you can see the graphs here. Currently, there is no cu current, so it's pretty flat. So I'm going to remember when you put on the current clamp, put it either on the neutral or the live, not across both wires. So I'm going to now turn on the lamp. Oh, that's bright! So turn it up, lamp. It was a strange conversation with the seller when I wanted a Lord lamp. Okay, so that makes it hard to see the screen with a big bright lamp in the background. But let's have a look. Yep, the screen is there. Ah, and you get a spike. So we'll leave the lamp on for a couple of minutes get some data the lamp is around 110 watts and we can use it to perform our calibration as well it's a bit brighter on the graphs power factor uh, note the wires here are very thin so the amount of uh, the amount of induction of current is not as much as it should be. So ideally, get a smaller clamp or use clamp it onto the mains thick red wire. Okay, so looks like it's giving us the data, and according to this, it's around what, 25. 26 watts, but the reality in reality it's around 100, so the sensors need a little, little bit of calibration. Okay, so I think that's enough of that. Let's switch it up. Keep watching the graph. Next 20 seconds, there should be a drop. And we have the drop. Good. So it's all working. Let's make sure we get another next data point at the flat. Twenty seconds can be a long time. Yeah, and we have a second data point on the flat. So that's it.